What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today we are on the Petrify meme team, and it is time to continue, continue, continue to level up our Drake. So he is E3 right now, we have all the food we need, we have decent setup on him as well, but a big thing that we need to do, oh you know what? There's actually multiple things we need to do. One, we are still finishing up the Wishing Fountain this week. The other is we are, in fact, going to do the entire event. So we're going to claim all these out. We're going to buy the rest of the Wishing Coins. Yeah, that's pretty much what we're going to do. I already picked the heroes we want. Figured we'd get another Aspen. We'll grab a carry copy. The other two don't matter. Grabbing that Shia as a just-in-case. So, yeah, as far as swaps go... I mean, we don't really have any, unless unless we want to get rid of the Jara skins, which, at least for now, I really don't want to. Uh, I think we're going to just hold off and wait. I do want to get this Drake leveled up, though. So, we need to do something. We need to come over here, grab another copy. So close. We're 41 relics away from E5-ing our Drake. But maybe next week we get lucky as well and get a... Uh, I do want to. come on Barry talking and doing at the same time ain't working uh maybe I can get one from the imps adventure chest if we get really lucky with the event but I'm not you know I'm not not gambling on that right there so come on I said I picked it I picked it there we go there we go all right so pretty good setup there let's put that to offensive we are gonna try to use him in Aspen Dungeon today. Let's see what we end up here. And then I think I think we're going to upgrade his stone. And I think we're going to unlock a secondary stone. Because I kind of like having the speed one. So let's upgrade. No, I don't want that one. Ooh, an attack attack. No, we're just going to go all the way up. Precision attack attack, not bad. Let's see if we can now get a speed stone as well. Perfect. We will keep it for now. Just for PvP. All right, that's good. But at least we have a decent one for Aspen Dungeon. Again, it's not great. Not great at all. And we don't have any gear for him either. So yeah, we got to decide. We got to decide. Do we actually have fodder to upgrade? I mean, we do. Maybe we should. Jar, I th one, two, three, four, five. Why not? We're doing it. We're doing it, guys. We got rid of the Camith one. That's fine. We don't care. So let's see. Let's get these heroes set up with what we want. I think we want to run her. Hmm. What artifacts? I do. Actually, no. Let's do this. I want to run a Rui on him again just because it was really weird and fun. I liked it. Attack precision precision versus crit crit attack. You know, I actually feel like crit crit might be better. That's too much crit. We don't need that much crit. That's way too much. We'll leave it there. As far as our carry goes, I actually want to run Antler's Cane and do like an attack setup with her. There we go. Um, I do want to run an Amon Ra as well to potentially beat some of those. Uh, some of the ways we struggle with it are just straight up healer waves. Gear is so rough though. I mean, we don't have anything. Yeah, we don't even have like backup set gear or anything like that. You, I mean, you can get like, honestly, it doesn't matter what you have. You can keep that. You can keep that too. If anything, we're going to take the gear off of you and throw it on, <laughs> throw it on our Amon Ra here. Why not? Better than what she's got. We'll do that. That should be fine. The Drake is set up as well. Let's jump in here. See if we can make any progress whatsoever here. Uh, we got the Jara with the Demon Bell just to see if we can get an active off. It's going to take a while longer before we can actually push to... Uh, ooh, You know what? I would normally buy these Profit Orbs, but I got to hold off because I need the gems to finish the event. I need to not do berry things and then end up and be like, oh man, I have, I have no gems left over. Hmm. <laughs> All right, so honestly, we're not really buying much in here at all. I guess we'll buy some PvP tickets. There we go. There we go. No coins, though, huh? No coins whatsoever. I should probably buy these deals because these deals are going to be better than just straight up buying coins in the Wishing Fountain. So actually, we will buy all these. 
to hopefully get enough to completely finish the event out. We're not going to get another Aspen Dungeon before the event ends, so we kind of need to just buy everything that we can. All right. Okay. Immediately, we get a dual Ada Wave. Good Lord. Maybe Drake can do this. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, he got a couple good dodges. Okay, he got one target down. He did his job, I guess. <laughs> good Lord, man. Oh, this account just... I don't know what to say sometimes when it comes to Aspen Dungeon. Luckily, we have Sea Land 20 already done. Ooh, this is a Demon Potion way for sure. Even at that, not sure how we do with an Aspen. We got a Rui though, so we're gonna dodge a lot of those act or a lot of those basic attacks. It's kind of a cool thing. Look at all these horrifies we're actually getting. We're like not taking any damage really whatsoever. That is kind of cool. Kind of like it. I'm kind of a fan of it. I mean, he's got energy. He might be dying right here, but I, he's getting those horrifies. <laughs> he's getting those horrifies. <laughs> oh my goodness. What are we doing here, guys? Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. I don't think we can actually win this one. You know what? I thought you had... I thought she had a demon bell on. Yeah, she does. Okay, that energy is just bugging out. We'll just do a little damage just just a little softening them up and then we'll go in with the aspen with the energy no extra energy okay okay keep healing heal up heal up oh no <laughs> oh maybe if we use the demon potion we probably would have had a chance i probably should have because we're just gonna go ahead and waste it on the carry at this point oh man it feels bad feels bad all right, anything good? Nope, nothing there. Carrie can do decent. I mean, we're at death five, so this is already really, really bad here. Oh, <laughs> uh, this account, guys, is just such a fun troll account. All right, yeah. You know what? We're going to just pump both demon potions into Amon Ra. Watch her die off. Ugh, disgust me. <laughs> but one big thing I want to try doing today is see what our uh, PVE damage is looking like as well. At least I think. I'm pretty sure we have Flame Shrine up. Wow. This is kind of interesting. Are Amon Ra's beating Penny Waves? No, she died. The Reflect. All right. Yep, yeah, that's enough of that nonsense. <laughs> oh, so weird to see. So, so weird. Flame Shrine. No, we do have Flame Shrine up. So, let's go ahead and uh, remove the insanity that we have put on everybody. Uh, I guess I just have to remove that. Swap uh, ba, ba, that to you. Uh, we're going to swap the skill out right here. Mm. Yeah, we'll put, we'll put him back line. I like that. You actually want the crit for PvE, though. Let's throw on... Hmm. Really nothing amazing for her. Nothing we really need. I guess we can just go back and do the demon bell setups. Let's throw... Let's just put that on you. You know what? Amon Ra, you need to give her gear back. Where Where are we going? Where are we going? Here we go. There we go. And sure, you get energy. Yeah, that, that looks fine to me. You get whatever is left over, essentially. Sure, looks good. And then you get... I think I want... No, you know what? I changed my mind yet again, guys. I feel like, hold on. We're, I feel like we're missing something here. Hold on, hold on. Don't we have another demon bell? Where's our other demon bell? I thought we had three demon bells, didn't we? Maybe we only had two. Hmm. Okay. Maybe we did only have two. So you are not getting that. You are going to get a demon bell. And Carrie is going to get that energy. I just like the energy. So much better. We'll do this setup. Yeah, that looks good. That looks good. Our Heart Watcher, do you have any gear? Yes, you do have gear. That's where all the gear went, huh? <laughs> kind of forgot about Heart Watcher there. And then you, of course. Yep, yeah, Magic Source. So let's jump in here. Let's see what type of damage we can do. So we're going to have to throw you in the back line, I think. Heart Watcher is definitely going in the front. Death Sworn can go in the back. Okay, and then Drake... Uh, let's put Drake in the front. Does it matter? Not really. Would we be better off doing this then? I think so. I think that's better. 
You know, if that's the case, then for Aspen, we're going to change his second nail because Aspen is pretty much our entire damage dealing here. What is his speed? His speed is 1528. Oof. Oof. Maybe. Maybe we need to grab this off and see if he can be faster. No, I don't really care about that. Do I? Yes, no, maybe so. I don't know. Nah, I don't care. I don't care. We're dragging our feet here, guys. I know, I know. Let's throw this lineup back in. So you two I want in the front, and then you guys and that death swarm. Throwing that pet. Let's go. Let's see if we can get some damage in here. It's been a while since we've done PvE on this account. The one nice thing is our Drake synergizes very well with our Aspen because at least Aspen's basic goes after the same target that has that armor debuff right there. So that is at least a side benefit. Heart Watcher being in the front row means she doesn't ever get CC'd, so that doesn't matter either. And then Drake kind of just Drake and Carry just dodges stuff in the background. We have Amon Ra for shields. We have carries for energy drain, so we eat less actives. I think it's gonna be good enough. I'm just hoping Drake lives this way. If not, we might have to put some tanky enables on, but it looks like he's good. Looks like he's not gonna have much of a problem. And overall, for an Aspen for PvE damage, it's, it's not that bad. 200 million basic. Okay, okay. Let's watch this one. 233 million basic. Let's see the active though. Boom, 470. Not too bad. Again, for PvE, not that great. Aspen is not an amazing PvE damage dealer. But with his synergy, I mean, 3.4 billion. I mean, I'll take it. I'll definitely take it. I don't know how we rank against other people. Probably nowhere, nowhere near the top. Yeah, we're we're way down there. Granted, I think we've missed quite a few attacks. We'll do one more. See how we're doing if 3.5 billion is our average. Honestly, if 3.5 billion is our average with an Aspen as our PvE damage dealer, I'll take it. That is perfectly fine by me, guys. All right. Man, that Death Sworn is still alive somehow. That's pretty surprising. He should die this round though, right? Yeah, there he goes. There he goes. Okay, the problem here, you just notice Heart Watcher only hit the back two targets. That always feels bad because she has to hit the front target in order for this type of setup with a Drake to work the best because the front target is the one we want all of our damage funneled into. Kind of why I kind of want to build a second Aspen. But chances are we'll probably work on like another carry next, I think. I don't know. You guys drop in the comments. Do we build a carry next or do we build an Aspen next? I can't decide. Yeah, pretty much 3.5 billion. That is pretty solid damage right there. I will take it. And that is like a really not optimized Aspen either. I mean, yes, we are going like full out attack enables and such, but... Man, oh man, that was that was pretty decent. I'm switching these back because you guys know I will not remember to do this if I don't do it right now. I think everybody else is fine for now. Drake, that yeah, will give you some speed. We're not really using Drake for much of anything right now, but we will, as soon as he hits E5, we will start putting him in our PvP lineup. And like I said, guys, we're up to four Dark Heroes. I think we might be making the transition into a Dark account very, very soon. I don't think we have any dummies. No, we don't have any dummies. We're going to finish a six-star dummy. We have some Dark food, but not enough to work on the next nine-star project just yet. And yeah, I don't know. We have one Aspen right here. We got two carries here. What do we have in here? Any Aspens or carries? No. We got to decide. Who do we go for next? We're getting awfully, awfully close. Being able to buy our last version, our last copy of Drake as well. And then we will E5 him and then we will all be happy. Then we'll have another meme account where we don't have any non-regular faction. I mean, eventually we'll probably get rid of the Jaras. I mean, we'll probably do that. She served us well, but she just doesn't hold up. She was fun for the memes, but in the long run for this account, I don't think we're going to be able to keep it up with the Jaras. We'll give it a try. We'll do our best to keep her in the lineup. But overall, I think she's going to drop off pretty quick. 
hopefully you guys enjoy this one uh probably next eh, probably not next week maybe next week we'll have our final drake copy and then we will have an e5 we'll have to see we got c line 20 done in dark for a long time so he's not gonna really help us there pve damage i think we need broken spaces done Oh, yeah, we could do some broken spaces later this week. Maybe we'll do that, get some more relics, but I don't think there's a way for us to get... You know what? Before we go, guys, I know I keep saying we're done, and then I just keep on going. We have 39 relics. Okay. Wishing Fountain, we're going to get five more. That's 44. We bought out all of these, so 44. Broken spaces gives another 15, so that's 69. 59. 59 damn so close <laughs> 59 there um which means we get another five so that's 64 yeah there's no way to get those extra ones we need 14 more but there's really no way to get those extra relics this week so we will have to wait maybe we'll get it on instant venture we will see and i'll see you guys next time